Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and welcome back to my gaming channel. Hi, hello, how you doing? I'm doing well-ish. I have had COVID for the past week, and I finally have felt a little inspired to do some kind of work for YouTube, this time in the form of playing on my gaming channel, and I have been contemplating getting back into the old Stardew Valley for a minute, okay? it's It's been a minute that I've been thinking about it, and I've been actually most recently inspired by Willow Davis. He posted some really funny Stardew Valley videos over on his gaming channel, and then literally yesterday he, he streamed for like almost 15 hours playing Stardew Valley all day on Twitch yesterday, and I was like, this is it, I'm gonna do it. Now, a few things. One, I do have a save file on my Switch, and I played for like 70 hours. At the beginning of the pandemic, I spent all my time, free time, playing either Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing, and I just never brought Stardew Valley to anything gaming related. And second of all, I am playing now for the very first time on my PC. So I got it for the PC as well. Um, I've heard some people feel like functionality wise it's, it's better, but if I fumble some of the controls or things like that because I've never, literally this is the first time I'm playing on my PC, um, my apologies, okay? <laughs> Alright, okay. So, that's what we're doing today. I didn't go through the character creation with you all, just mostly because, I, I mean, the, the little, like, farmer character creation thing, it, it kind of takes a while, in my opinion. It's not as, as casual and easy as, like, a Sims, create a Sim situation type of deal. Like, you have to scroll through pre-picked options, and it just takes a while. So, I saved us from that, but what I did want to consider is looking at the different types. Now, my 70 hour plus save is just with the regular old standard farm, um, but I do want to consider the beach farm, because I don't think the beach farm was ever, maybe it was added recently to the Switch version, um, but I know it's something that, well, do I want to do it? Good foraging and fishing in tons of open space, sometimes supply crates wash up on shore, however, sprinklers don't work in the sandy soil. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to do that. This is supposed to be chill. Uh, this is supposed to be chill. Do I want to do that? Something's telling me no, fam. The woods limit your farming space. However, the bounty of the forest is nearly... I kind of may... Do I just do a standard farm? I think we might just do the standard farm because that's what it's... That, I mean... That's where it all started. I don't want. I don't want to get too crazy. It's been a while. I've um. Oh, and I didn't put skip intro. So you're gonna see the whole story if you've never played Stardew ever before. Basically, you inherit this this farm from your your grandpa, who's maybe dead. I think he's dead. And anyways, here's here he is. That's Gramps over there. <clears throat> That's him. I also have some water, just in case. Uh, mostly because, like, I've been congested. I'm, I might have a cough or two slip out here and there, but I'm mostly not coughing the way I was at the beginning of my COVID uh, situation type of deal. I don't know. I feel like I should have just skipped this because I'm clearly just talking to y'all and not reading it. But, you know, if you want to pause and read it as we go, if you've never had this experience, you can. But yeah, I literally played so much at the beginning of COVID, at the beginning of the pandemic, that it's been really hard for me to get back into it. One, because I don't remember where I was at in that situation type of deal. Um, and two, because it just like truly... Oh, and then there's Joja Mart, which is like an Amazon Walmart situation type of deal and we're working there. We're working at the old Joja Mart and we're just miserable. 
Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna leave it all behind to go live on an old uh, farm and and farm. And there's me. Look at look at me with my little blue hair there. My blue hair in real life it doesn't look that bad on camera. I'm looking at it, but she's she's kind of starting to fade. She's kind of starting to fade a little bit. In case you're wondering. <coughs> But yeah, the nostalgia for me, nostalgia, it's like literally two years ago, was just that like, oh, do I have to click this? Oh, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Judd Tato Farm, which I called it Judd... Is it, should it maybe be Judtato Farm? Either way, it's a combination of Judy and Poe's names. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old gay uh, guy for, for me, will ya? Of course. Um, so anyways... I just think back a lot to when the pandemic started and like this was such a rock for me. It was a rock for me to get through and I, yeah, I had 70 hours. I think I was on year three, which is also crazy because some people play forever, forever. And I didn't even unlock like all the things you can unlock and do all the things you can do. Um, so I'm excited to play it here on, on, on my channel for you. And honestly, I don't know really how to do this because you're going to see, like, you can spend a long time on just one day of this game. Oh, this is Robin. Hello. You must be Zachariah. There's all kinds of villagers for you to meet, people of the town to meet, befriend, and some of them you could get into relationships with. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. You can't get in a relationship with her. She's, she just builds your houses for you. Mary Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over there, if you'll follow me. I think this is all... I don't think I actually have to do a whole lot yet. <clears throat> so this is it. This is the standard farm you get. Standard place. This is the Jetato farm. Woohoo! Oh, why did I look scared? What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Surely will. We're gonna get her whipped into shape. I want her whipped into shape. And here you are, your new home. Your new home. And there's Mayor Lewis, the new farmer. So yeah, I also, I think I got stressed because I started learning more about the game and realized that there were so many things I could be doing and I wasn't doing them. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is more stress than it is calming. And I don't want it to be that way. You know, I don't want it to be stressful. I want it to be chill vibes only because that's what it should be but I figured now that I have COVID I could kind of like you know I'm stuck in my home I'm not going out so I don't infect other people I'm Marcus well plays some Stardew everyone's been asking about me Mary Lewis it's not every day that someone new moves in it's quite a big deal So, if you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage, it's a good house. Very rustic. Okay, I should have skipped all of this, because I really do know, know it all. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Shut the fuck up, Robin, honestly. Chill vibes only. Look, Mary Lewis is also mad on my behalf. Don't listen to her, Zachariah. Oh, I call myself Zachariah, because... My other save file was just Zach, and I think, I think Willow in one of his silly videos named himself Willowdia, and Zachariah is something that people used to call me all the time <laughs> growing up, so, uh, she's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Oh, I'm sure she is. These 
these money obsessed hoes. You must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. He's going to tell me that over here I can sell things. I think that's what he says next. I almost forgot if you have any... Oh, yep. Anything to sell, just place it in this box and I'll come by during the night to collect it. Good luck. So there you are. There you have it. There you go. I think that's the whole intro. I think that's it. We made it through a day. I think we did. All right. Oh, look at this. Oh, wait. I'm confused. Oh, it's left click. Oh, we got some parsnip seeds and a new journal entry. Here's something to get you started. Perfect. Getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start at the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Okay, great. Introductions. What's this one? Oh, you gotta go meet all the people. Yes, of course. Oh! Okay, here's the thing. Forgetting... Forgetting how... Can I rotate this? I, I hate that it's not, like, all the way up against the wall. Anyways. Weather report? Your number one source for weather news and entertainment. So, a lot of people are like, I didn't even use this TV for the longest time the first time I played. I didn't even know you could check for, like, a weather forecast. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Okay. And then this will tell you if the mines are going to be good, which... The, I, I probably won't even go to the mines today. Luck will not be on your side. Okay, well, I, yeah, I probably, I probably shouldn't go. I probably shouldn't go anyways, because I don't, know, I don't know that I have, I don't have the things you need. All right, so we are gonna, we're gonna get this stuff out of our way, and we are gonna. This is kind of so weird. The, the controls definitely play differently than, than, um, the old Switch, I have to say. It is a different feel. Because I, I don't know how to explain it, though, is the, is the problem. Like, it doesn't feel like it should be different, but it 100% is. I don't know. I'm sure if any of you have, have played both, you would understand. I feel like you would have to. Is there, like, a... The other thing I'm worried about is there, is there like, a quick way to, um... To change between the the tools. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense at all. But anyway, so now you're going to get to hear a lot of the click clack move my keyboard as I, <laughs> as I just push the WASD buttons over and over and over and over and over again. Because honestly, yeah, I just don't, um, I just don't remember all the things. I don't, and by remember, I mean, I've, again, never played here on the, on the PC before. But everybody tells me it's better. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm, I'm used to the Switch that I'm like, I don't, is this working? And part of me is like, should I have just kept playing on the Switch? I don't know. I honestly also just feel like there's way too much... I don't want to be that, that basic hoe that just starts off right here. But that's probably what we're going to do for the sake of ease. I, I just don't want to get into this situation where all of my... All of my farms and stuff are right outside my home. I'd kind of rather... But then it's like, you have all these stumps that you can't even, you can't even tear all these stumps down until you get a, like, way larger, 
hard, stronger axe, like a better axe. You gotta upgrade your axe or something, I think. So, whatever, we're just gonna, we'll just get started right here. We have 15 parsnip seeds. So let's just till the soil. Maybe, maybe we won't go right in front of the house. We'll just go. Okay, see, this is. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to tell you that I, I, again, because I, maybe because I'm, well, that seems easier because then I don't have to actually, I don't know. Well, the jury's still out. The jury's still out. You know what? This is slightly easier because back in the day you would have to, on the switch, you'd have to like move around with all of these. Oh, I, I, I made that way too big. But now I can just sit here and pour from this one spot without moving around. That is a little bit easier, but it also is just a different... Um, oh gosh, and my energy is like almost all the way... My energy is almost all the way down. <laughs> Too funny. Okay, well... Let's chill there then. And let's go to the town. Now you can forage all these things, which for whatever reason I really do like to forage. But also a lot of these forageables are good for eating for energy or giving as gifts to people because they're free. And that that's one of the funny things about Willow's video is he talks about how like there's all these things that you just have to guess about the villagers and find out that they enjoy or like. Um, and there's some that I remember. So in my first game, I... Oh, what are we doing here? Um, this is like the little calendar so we can see when people's birthdays are and when there are um, town events. So there's an egg festival, a flower dance. It's spring. We're starting in the spring, okay? Um... So in the first save that I did, I married Alex, and he's this guy, if he's around, we'll go say hi to him. Um, he's this guy over here, though. He lives in here, with his grandparents. It looks like he is the- oh, see, and can you guess why? You're not good enough friends with him to enter his, his bedroom. Can you guess why I picked him as my husband in the first game? <laughs> But we can go talk to, to George. George likes leaks, I believe. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Okay, and I think he likes leaks, so we might we might give it to him. This is my favorite thing! Yes, yeah, see, I remember that. And I remember Alex likes cookies for some... Well, I'm not for some reason. I don't... For some reason, I remember that he likes them. Um, I mean, who wouldn't like cookies that's that's neither here nor there but um let's go talk to miss uh, i can't remember her name but she, she's alex's grandma she she evelyn why hello and welcome to the community you can call me granny if you would like oh, i don't know about that um so yeah we'll just talk to all the people hello you must be zachariah the new farmer i'm karen Oh yeah, Caroline is the wife of Pierre who owns like a general store. You aren't exactly what I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Jody has kids. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer could really change things. Oh, see? See, she's here to tell you all the things that I just told you. She has a daughter named Abigail with purple hair. Um, okay, great. Let's go talk to this little shit over here. I never really do anything with the kids because I don't really know if there's, if there's a, my mama says don't talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Maybe you should listen to that advice, little kid. Here's old Harvey. He's a doctor, which like, I don't know. So I definitely don't want to get in a relationship with Alex since I've already done that. My backups are probably going to be Elliot or... Harvey, you know, 
But I've already done the Alex nonsense. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents. It's rewarding work. Great, great, good to hear. So yeah, um, there's these people that lived at, oh, there's, I think her name's Emily. We got, oh, she's my blue hair buddy. I can read it on your face, you're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon, that's where I work. All right, bestie, bet. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. How about that? This is somebody's house. Uh, I think Emily lives here with her sister, Haley. And nobody's here. And I just walked in. Not weird at all. Brand new in town. Just swooping into people's houses. It's casual. It's casual, y'all. Well, there's Jody again. We've already talked to her today, so she's probably not going to let us do that again. But that's fine. That's fine. And it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, what else is over here? The mayor's house is over here. There's this little cemetery. There's Mayor Lewis. We can go chat him up as well. How was your first night? Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. So you can, like, upgrade and change your house around, too. Let's go talk to Maru. You're the one that just moved in. I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Just quickly introducing you to all the people. With a small town like this, a new face can really alter the dynamic. It's exciting. Hello, I'm Penny. Hi, Penny. Oh, that's, that's all we get from Penny. Okay, it's chill. Oh, there's, there's my former husband, Alex. You're the new guy. Cool, huh? I'll see you around. Alright, bet. Let's go into the saloon. Oh, Pam is one of my faves. She's an alcoholic, can relate, and, um, just love her. You give her, you give her a good old beer. And she's thrilled. She's thrilled. And then this guy's the saloon owner. Gus. Hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Can you get you anything? Not right now, bestie. I'm just, I'm just browsing. We're just looking around. We're just looking around. Checking out the sights and sounds. Oh, there's Shane. Shane, also an alcoholic. Don't know why you're talking. Um, he he doesn't. He's not super friendly, and it's fine. It's chill. I we don't have to be friendly with everybody, you know. Where's Elliot? Because once you see Elliot, you'll know. You'll know why I'm looking for Elliot. Like why Elliot's an option. Harvey's an option because he's like a dweeb. And I won't apologize for that, you know? But... Elliot's an option because he's, like, rugged. He's... He's got long hair. All the things one might look for in a partner, you know? <laughs> you know? Let's see if he's there. It's locked. He's not there. Sometimes he also chills out on the dock of the bay. Sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the tides roll. Okay. Well, anyways, there's this beach area down here. So there's that. <laughs> there's that. Oh, it's getting nighttime. <gasps> there's, um, oh, he's the, he's the blacksmith. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. The town blacksmith. And then I'm sure the museum's closed, but there's old Gunther in here with the museum. You can find like artifacts and stuff around as you um, are traipsing about, out and about the town. And here's the Jojo Mart, in case that's of interest to anybody. There's a lot, it, it's like, 
kind of actually a little bit of a big map and then it seems so small once you like actually get about going around and things like that. Can I go say hi to Pierre? Where's Pierre? Oh, Abigail's sleeping. It's 840. There's also this like, I've never really understood why, why this altar is inside their home slash shop. You know, you can't understand everything all the time, but let's talk to Pierre. It's Mr. Zechariah, the new farmer. I'm the owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my place is the place to go. Great. Thanks. Is that all I could say to him? Is, is there more to say? A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. I feel like maybe I shouldn't have recorded this very first one because it's like, what are y'all really going to learn from this? Not a lot. Not a lot. And in general, though, I'm like, I'm like, I don't know how to go about having Stardew on here. Like, maybe we could stream on the gaming channel or something. Because I feel like that's maybe a more conducive way to sharing this type of content. But I don't know. You let me know what to, you think. Because, um, you know, we can, we can try all kinds of things. It's starting to get dark. And there's only so much I can do. So I'm going to go ahead and head back. And we'll put maybe some of this like forageable stuff that I found in the old, in the old, uh, whatchamacallit. And then, okay. So we'll sell those things and call it a day. Maybe we'll try to get two days into this video. But yeah, we'll go to sleep for the night. Day one is done. We made all of 150 gold. I used to be so obsessed with going and seeing like how like how much I got for every single thing I sold. Um, so that's fun. Let's see what's next. I just got this fear that like my microphone was not recording. I'm so out of practice with everything. All right, let's see. Oh, we got a letter. We just got a letter. Hello there, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I, oh yeah, that's Willie. He owns the little, the fishing spot. So we might have to go check that out as well. Um, in fact, well, let me water everything. Just get that done while we're here. Yeah, okay, this is, you, the one thing about the Switch is you did have to, like, angle yourself just right to get everything watered correctly. Um, so that's nice that you don't have to do all that. There's also, I don't know how much we should or shouldn't be, like, So what do I need? I forget what I need to do. How do I how do I pull up my inventory on here? That's a thing I don't know. Is there a way to make it pop up? I mean, I guess this is the only inventory I have so far. Or like, where's the? How do I get to like the crafting page? Because I would like to see. I can't remember what all I'm gonna need to make like some chests and things like that, but I don't want to get rid of this stuff that's that's in my in my little inventory right now. You know what I'm saying? But let's go down here since we didn't check this all out uh, yesterday, because this is another like place. A lot of uh, a lot of foraging available usually down here can usually find some stuff. Eventually there's an area over here that you can unlock that opens up into like a whole, a whole nother, a whole nother, but you have to be, it's not even unlocking. You just have to have a strong enough ax to um, chop this thing down right there. So that will come soon enough, soon enough. There's a wizard that lives here. I, I wonder if we can go say hi to him now. I don't remember. Let's go see. I 
can't remember if you can or can't say hi to him. Like, if you have to wait, we'll see. It's locked. You can hear someone inside. Guess you have to wait. I, can't, I didn't remember that he wasn't just there from the beginning. He's not just there from the beginning, folks. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. Oh, there's a dandelion. Oh, and then this is usually becomes something later, I believe. I mean, we're just foraging right now. I feel like that's the best we can do in this moment. Although, we could go buy some seeds from Pierre. Maybe, in fact, we probably should, I guess. Maybe foraging is not the thing that we need to be doing right now. Oh, that's some. I think that's a spring onion. It surely is! It surely is. Oh, and those are too. Those are also some spring onions. We got all the spring onions. They're here. Um, so if nothing else, I hope that this feels a little... Is this horseradish? It sure is. It sure, surely is. If nothing else, I hope that this can be relaxing. Is Marnie here? Let's go say hi to Marnie. Marnie, where the fuck are ya? Oh my god, that kind of sounded like, uh, Ruth from Ozark. How the fuck are ya, Marty? You know? Do you know what I'm talking about? Alright, Marty. I love that show. We have not watched the final season yet, though, so no spoilers in the chat, please. No spoilers in the chat. Let's buy, let's go buy some stuff from Pierre, because surely we can get some new plants going. Oh, and there's this little bounty board, and I call it a bounty board because that's Help wanted. Looking for someone to bring me 15 copper ores. Well, that would, I believe, involve us going into the mines, and I don't know if we're ready for that yet. Oh, there's, there's Marnie. There's Marnie. There's, well, this is not Marnie. We're talking to Abigail right now, but Marnie's right here. Right over there. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. Yeah, bish, it's me. Kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields for myself. Well, it's not all about you, Abigail. Now is it? Now is it? All right, let's just get... Ooh, the bean starter is great because it keeps producing after you first get it. So let's get... Oh, my inventory's full. Can I sell some of these things to him? Or maybe go give some, some things to people? Let's go say hi to the, the women I haven't met. So this is Marnie. Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. You sell, she sells the, the livestock. So, um, do you think she would like a dandelion? Thank you, this looks nice. Good. Uh, we've talked to Jody. We've, talk, we've talked to Robin. Um, I think you can talk to everybody once a day though. Oh, do you, you want horseradish? Oh, you brought, you, you're the one that brought horseradish up? Girl? I'm sorry, what? Why are you getting mad? Okay, rude as hell. I gotta tell you what, rude as hell. That's what I'm hearing right now. Rude as hell. Okay, let's just get like three beans. Let's get some potato seeds. And then potato seeds. And then that, that should be good. That should be good. Oh, you can just scroll to go through your, your inventory. That makes sense to me. Alright, so we got that, so let's go find Willie, since he said come to the beach, and maybe we'll run into a potential future husband, Elliot? Maybe? Question mark? Oh, there's the old Willie! There's the old Willard! 
Is this where he gives me the a fishing pole? Because I've heard. Um, oh shit, my, my pockets are full. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Yeah, I think I, I'm still trying to unwind from a month on out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. Sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy a new rod. I'll throw something away, bestie. I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. <coughs> oh, sorry for the cough. A bamboo pole. Yeah, and what do I... Let's just replace the coal with it. We did it, Joe. There's a good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. I've heard fishing is easier. It is very difficult <laughs> on the switch. It took me a long time to figure out, actually. Also, I think Noel's doing the dishes or something. I can hear a lot of stuff clanging around. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. That seems a little sussy. Okay. Well, shall we then? Shall, shall we? I don't know that I'm prepared to start fishing right here because my pockets are full. But I would like to try it out. Kind of. Well, you know what? We can do that. We can go we can go empty some of our pockets and then go and do some fishing. We don't have to fish right here. It's locked. Only Elliot's friends can enter uninvited. Okay, well, where's Elliot? I want to meet him. I want to meet my future husband, potentially. I don't think we met him yet, though. I'm Sam. Good to meet you. People love Sam and Sebastian. I personally just don't get it. Personally, don't get it. Especially the Sebastian thing. Listen, I probably have a lot of um, unpopular opinions there. Have you met my mother? She's the town carpenter. I'm aware. Can I go in and interrupt Evelyn's doctor's appointment? Oh dear, is it an emergency? Why are you here? <laughs> not walking I don't know that I've ever seen him actually treating a patient while I was while I was in here oh my gosh well look at that that's so funny to me um I don't know why it just is it's, just, it's very very funny let's go plant these extra plants I got we gotta put the beans somewhere that they're not in the way, because if you've never farmed the beans, the beans, um, they're on like poles, and so they get in the way, kind of, in my opinion. Um, but let's just, let's just plant these potatoes. Oh, and see, if we plant the beans there, they're gonna be in the way. I just know it. I just know it. I just know it. So let's... How many beans? I got four beans. So let's do it. Actually, honestly, they would fit perfectly right there. They're just gonna be... They're just gonna be too big. Oh! oh. I didn't mean to pull that up, but that's good to know that that button does that. It's good to know. But yeah, see, they, they come on these poles. And I don't know, maybe because of the controls in, in, um, on the PC, it doesn't matter as much, but they would always get in my way when I was, like, trying to water things. Like, if I had wanted to water all of these, they would be in the way. You know, does that make sense? Are we, are we on the, are we on the same page? Should I sell these spring onions? Let's just go ahead and put the spring onions in here. How about that? How about that? And I really want to be able to make um, a chest. But honestly, I don't know that that's an option. 
so because I'm just like all of these like crafting materials like the fibers the wood the rock I would like to have those somewhere else you know we need to start just clearing this whole space out chopping all the shits down it takes a lot of energy though especially at the very beginning of it because it's just like you're just a little, you got these little puny, tiny, um, little shits, essentially. And by shits, I mean tools. <laughs> One thing I have struggled with, I've, I've been on, like, a couple different, like, phone calls and stuff since I, I got COVID, and I have been struggling with just, like, putting my words together in ways that make sense to me. So, there's that. There's that. Um, what else should we do? Oh, I do want to try some fishing. Maybe we can go... Maybe we, there's like a little river area down here. We can go try to fish there. Just because I haven't, I haven't tried it on the PC and I want to see if there's a difference. So let's find out. Let's see what happens. I also forget because I think you can fish just anywhere, but sometimes there are little like fishing hot spots that pop up. I don't see. I don't know. I don't know what I have to do. I don't remember. Huh. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, click, 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 click. Okay, this is, this is a little bit easier. That was a little bit easier. A sunfish, okay. Great. Great. Let's see. Let's see. I only have room for one more fish, honestly. I could see how this is a little bit easier, but also once you figure it out on Switch, I don't think that this is that much different. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I mean, unless you've played Switch and PC versions... You probably wouldn't have any idea. No, I don't, I don't need this. See, how do I open up my inventory to get rid of that? Is what I would like to know. Not me struggling. And now I'm like, what am I... What am I doing? I just want one more fish. I just want to catch one more fish. Could we do that? Can we do that, please? Just one more before I'm done for the day. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go! Oh, what was that? A smallmouth bass. There we go. All right. Well, let's go home. Let's head home. We'll sail, sail, sail. And then we'll go. Then we'll be done for the day. I don't know. I feel like we didn't accomplish a whole lot. So you let me know what your thoughts are for, like, a future future Stardew content, if you want to see it at all. Um, if you don't, then I'll just play on my own. On my, my own. And life will be great. <laughs> you know, I don't mind playing by myself, but I just figured if I'm going to be playing anyways, why not, why not, why not, oh, now what we're not going to do, now what we're not going to do, alright, great, let's go to bed, let's get in for the day, and call it a day, go to, go on right there on down to sleep tonight, yes, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
We're just racking up the gold. 143 gold today. All right, y'all. Besties, that's all we got time for today. That's all we got time for today for this here video. I don't know why I'm talking like that, like I'm down on the farm. Um, so, so let's just get to, get to, I wish I knew how to pull up. Well, there's, there's a map. <laughs> Maybe we'll leave it. Well, let's leave it at the map. Let's leave it at the map. There's probably some button somewhere that I have to push and I just I haven't figured it out yet. Um, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and you want to see more Stardew Valley content on my channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. And leave me a comment, hit like, click share, follow me everywhere, do all the things. I love you all so much. I'll see you all next time. Bye!